Hello there good folks watching the daily vlog welcome to day 29 we are starting week number 5 today it feels absolutely accelerating and we saw a small spike in the weight this morning which is totally understandable given yesterday's loading day we should see that gradually disappear as the days roll in now i did plan to train faster this morning because we have all this built up energy from yesterday but uh, we had a ton of work to wrap up so i kind of uh, deep dived into that and got carried away and it's already afternoon of course the way in that you saw was taken in the morning so i also squeezed in a little nap midway we clocked in some extra sleep that we did miss out the last week so that'll be something i'll also be focusing on this week sleep primarily along with uh, the nutrition and training and we have a push session ahead so summer work maybe some pungal so we got egg whites in the morning and like I pointed out earlier, the carbs are going to be pungal and chutney. It's very late though, very late breakfast, but uh, it's okay. We still have a ton of energy to be running on from yesterday. And it's not hot enough. Let's get plate in. Okay, I think it's formed a cake, obviously, because it's been a while. The rice undercooked? No, it's probably not overcooked enough like in Pongos. And let's go. Let's drizzle the chutney on top. Nice. Yummy. And what do we have here? Same old accompaniment box. Okay. Let's sneak in one uplum into the mix. And that's how we start a delicious morning. So I'll probably wrap this up and then do maybe a bit more work. And we're finally done with some work, got a bit more. Uh, I figured I'll probably have another meal and then relax for a while, maybe do some editing and then train later in the evening. That way the schedule will kind of be set because if I go train now and then I'm going to be really tired to sit down and do any proper mental work, which is why sometimes I you know, tend to push my training later in the day. It can be great for some people for their, uh, you know, mental reinforcements, like training first thing in the morning can make you feel you've already achieved something and that productivity, that, you know, happy hormone rush can keep you, uh, you know, fluid through the day. It's uh, happened to me as well, but of late, I want to get all my, you know, coaching plans done and then I want to jump into training where while I'm training, I don't have to worry about, oh, I got to do that, I got to do this, you know, it's just a free way where I can just completely enjoy each lift. So now let's go enjoy meal number two. Let's get our egg whites. I think we got alu paratha in the mix. It's been a while since I've added paratha. I mean, uh, planned paratha. Midway, I did have some roti and chicken curry, uh, you know, when we had to take a detour to the hospital for a quick checkup for someone. So, it was unplanned. Why is the bowl of oil always empty, man? Okay. Okay, so two things. Number one, when I was showing you the alu paratha, I just realized all that audio is not there because I was filming in a mode where there's no audio, there's just uh, you know high frame rate video recorded. So my bad, sorry about that. Can't do a voiceover, this is a daily vlog. Number two, it's been a long while since you last saw me on screen. And uh, what happened was I basically got really tired, did some more work, so I took a small nap and I'm pretty sure I slept wrong or my pillow kind of messed it up because I woke up with a small, inflammation that was uh, well not as small as it was yesterday you know i was talking about the small discomfort in the neck when we were doing the pull session yesterday yeah so i think that kind of got a little worse although i don't think it's because of the workouts it's just uh, my sleeping posture sometimes can be really terrible i look at the most comfortable thing and i'm sometimes you know lying belly down which is not really the best but when you're mid-sleep you can't really control a lot of things so that's a little messed up and it's turned into a sharp prick right now. I can still isolate this and try to do some push workouts today, but it would be pushing it. So I'm just looking for my volunteer. Okay, it's probably not in my studio. So we will have to take it off. I think I'll probably take off from training for at least another three to four days because this has been a specific danger zone for me since I 
uh, you know, went into recovery uh, for the back injury. Of course, you know, the lower back and this are nowhere close, but still somehow it's just something that's been nagging at me. This is what happens when you take a long break and then resume, you know, your body is kind of mute to a lot of things. So these inflammations will pop out of nowhere, no matter how careful you are. It's fine. You know, if you're someone who's going through something like this, don't take it to your head. It's fine. It's part of life. So we'll probably take things a little easy for a couple of days, see how it is and then resume based on, uh, you know, if it goes down. It's happened to me multiple times, so you know, it's gonna go on in a couple of days hopefully, so not a big deal. But the problem is, since I dozed off, I have a buttload of work more to do. But before that, I'm in the mood for something sweet, and meal three is something off the usual traditional, you know, dosa and chutney we do. Let's dive into that. We got some volumey action, so let's jump into a fruit bowl with a twist and some egg whites. Where do we have it? Right now, I do have some apples and pomegranates there. Probably throw in some oranges. Okay, we'll probably okay. There's sweet lime and oranges, but we want just oranges. Two, three, maybe just two. Now, obviously, I had this, uh, you know, taken out a little earlier because uh, oranges are not like that. We'll need to do them while we eat, so it's fresh. Yeah, I think we should probably do our egg whites, and as they're getting cooked, do the oranges. So yeah, we'll pause that. I don't know if you guys can notice, uh, my next mobility is kind of limited, you can see me as I turn. I'm not using it uh, a lot. Never overdo the volume, yeah? A lot of people do that. It's a terrible mistake. It can really burn your skin, which recently happened to someone I know as well. So, and I'm, obviously it's happened to me in the past, you know, back in the day when we didn't know much. Always use it sparingly. It's supposed to be really strong and you're supposed to use it just a little bit. We'll just go with egg whites, no whole eggs for the day. I did squeeze in a few nice biscuits earlier today. Got a little peckish mid-nap, so I had some of that. Come on guys, I'm not the only one who gets snacky, like when you wake up from sleep. That's like one of the most typical moments where, you know, people just go in for cravings, but of course I just had like, I don't know, three biscuits, but that's the thing with biscuits, you know, they can become really dense in calories, depends on what you're eating. So sometimes if it's basic, three biscuits would not cost you over 65, 70 calories. I think the ones I had was like 120, 150, so that's a lot. The twist we are adding to a fruit bowl is condensed milk, but not the ones you get in the store. I'm going to condense it myself and trust me, it takes not as long as you might imagine. Depends on how condensed you want it. I'm just gonna do it just a little bit and maybe throw in some nut flavor. Okay, I gotta be really careful. It's got a very small bottom. Is the use of it? No, I can understand why. Okay, you don't want the flame too high. All right, now you gotta keep stirring uh, until the milk looks slightly thicker or until you lose considerable amount of patience. I had the eggs turned off because you know, we did end up almost burning it the other day. So they're almost done. And now, oh, totally forgot the oranges. Okay, that bowl's not gonna fit. This should be like, you know, with the oranges, it's already there. And I like a little mixing room. So get a bigger one. I think I just applied the right amount of volume after, you know, years of experience using it. So the burning is slightly better now which, you know, is how it should be. Initially, you should feel it and then it should get better and then some relief eventually. De-seeding the oranges is... It's gonna take a little time. Okay, there's just one in there. I mean, small seeds, I'm just gonna let it pass. Okay, this looks like a big task in itself, but yeah. It's been so long since I had planned fruit in my diet. And today, I just ended up having a slight sweet tooth popping out of nowhere. So, we improvise. <laughs> then we add the... Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the milk. Now, to elevate the flavor for the milk, we're going to throw in some nuts. Alright, the milk's boiling. Now, we chop the cashews and almonds. Just a little, okay? I'm using like around 5 grams or around that of each nut because uh, they can once again rack up the calories, which is not a bad thing, but uh, when you're on fat loss, you want to watch all calories that go in, you know, nuts don't get a free pass. 
and you just need a very little portion to get the flavor onto the condensed milk. So, and if you're not a, a person who has aversion to cardamom, multitasking, huh? if you're a person who doesn't have an aversion to cardamom, you can add that too. I think I'm going to do that, but just a little though. Any strong flavor, whether it's cardamom or cinnamon, it's probably going to put me off. I do have cardamom powder. I have a kind of powder. I have a kind of powder. Cumin. Red. Ah. I put a correct tassel. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what's going to go in. Once again, very little, yeah? That's all, literally. Look at that. Literally, that's all you need. It's still very light though, it needs to thicken up. And if you want, you can throw in some rice. Yes, you heard that right. It's going to give a nice flavor. Once again, you want to blend the rice if you can, make it into a powder, but I'm just adding it whole. It'll still give a nice uh, kind of a thick, I wouldn't say consistency, but just a flavor along with maybe some uh, slight bit of consistency uh, to the condensed milk more than usual. So. Let's go. Hey, 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 it's okay, we'll come back for that. Have you ever seen a scrambled slash omelette egg? This is that. I let it in the pan for so long, focusing on the milk. Let's become an omelette. Okay, so, and for the best part, obviously. There we go. Nice, definitely not as consistent as I want it to be, but uh, it's fine for now. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the fan, I'm getting hot. Sorry if the audio is missed. I'm pretty sure the mic shouldn't pick that up, so. Lovely. So that wraps meal number three. Much needed. Stevia. I forgot to add stevia. Now, it does taste good even without that, but I had like a nice sweet flavor in mind, so totally forgot that. You don't want too much, just one and a half spoons. Stevia is like two or three times sweeter than sugar, which means if this much sugar gives this much sweetness, to get this much sweetness from stevia, you don't need this much stevia, you just need like that much. So, hope that makes sense. Yeah, probably should have patiently removed the orange seeds. I kind of bit into one and <laughs> it's just bitter, obviously. What do you expect? Perfect. All right. So, like I discussed initially, uh, we're going to take it easy with the inflammation. It should hopefully come down two, three days. I need to incorporate more rest through the day. Fine tune my time management a bit more so that, you know, we can avoid any sort of inflammation that could end up simply because, you know, we're training optimally, not like overtraining or whatever, but simply under resting. We don't want that. And I'll, yeah, this is the seed. I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.